2019 New Year started, that nine kind of resonated in my head. And I go, well, what? oh yeah, 1999. That's when we started Bound Certified. And we're always telling the story about how we got together. I go, the story really didn't start in 1999. Nope, nope, we started in 1986 or so when you uh, first started getting interested in helping us with the Human Powered Vehicle Project when I was an undergraduate at the University of Alabama in Huntsville. I remember Dr. Bauer and you came out yeah. to the Product Enhancement Complex at NASA and we go, hey, we, we could help you with the layup. Here's it's going to be an autoclave thing. So We, we didn't have a clue on it either, so <laughs> you were a huge help to us. So as I got to work with you and the students and Dr. Bauer, I, I got consumed. I remember even bringing Michael, my son, you know, right. like, 11 years old, get him involved in it, and it was just really cool. Yeah. Well, one national record and uh, multiple attempts. Uh, we had a lot of good uh, outcome from that project and learned a lot and competed uh, all over the country. So it was, good. it was a good project. It started out at the beginning of multiple projects that you and I would work on. We worked so well together, you know, you, you and your friends who are engineering students also mm -hmm. got involved. You know, that was a pretty big project. So after that, we had an opportunity. I worked at the complex and was technology transfer. We had a guy come in from Alabama who was a wheelchair racing right. guy, Doug Kennedy. Right, I recall. And he had heard that people could get help from NASA. <laughs> well, he ended up in the lab, and we had just worked on that project. So they go, hey, maybe John Cranston can help you out. So I go, Jeff Linder, let's see if we can do something. That was a lot of fun to actually go out and uh, help an Olympic quality uh, athlete. That kind of started us going down the athletics path, you know, and using that technology application in composites and uh, all kinds of vibration research in order to be able to make better products. Uh, so, all that somehow led over to the Concrete Canoe Project too, which was the next composite thing that we did together. Yeah, so how do we get in that? Was, were you or your oh, yeah. wife or? Yeah, I well, guess. Well, it wasn't your wife at the time. I started dating this lady that was uh, interested in civil engineering and uh, we started playing around with composites in concrete. And uh, next thing you know, we were competing for you know four national championships in concrete canoe over the years. So that turned out to be a whole lot of fun. And we obviously uh, worked directly with NASA at the time to get the composite materials and to use their great big ovens so we could bake out these frames and these structures and do a whole lot of research with composites uh, in concrete. Again, composites, material, vibration, optics, all these things just mashed together. Right, that was incredible. So I remember when you first brought me in on that project, <laughs> the canoe weighed like a hundred and something. 142 pounds was the first, for, and that was actually not that bad. But it was, you know, compared to what we were trying to go, uh, you know, that was all. It was to be nationally competitive, you couldn't be at that weight. So where did we end up on the last? Oh uh, man, the last, the last one, one we were 49 in. pounds. So. <laughs> <laughs> right, but it, it made it through the competition. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what it was designed for. So that was in seven ninety. Man, we did that. The first, well, we got second at Nationals in 1992, and that okay. was with the 142 pound boat. And that, the hook was set. It was a great competition, a lot of fun. Then we got the national championship in 93 and 94, uh, skipped a year in 95, uh, won in 96. And then I came back as an instructor at the, after I graduated and all that stuff. Came back as an instructor at UAH and uh, helped the team there to win in 98 again. So, okay, so that, that took you there. That but was you, a pretty but, long span. Right, but you're at NASA and I'm at NASA right. still working there right. and I'm working on, you know, space stuff and you're right. working space in, stuff in, too, in right? Structures school, and dynamics. grad school at the same time. So. And grad yeah. school too? Yeah. So wow. then, I, I remember we, took, we, go, we keep winning all kinds of awards and stuff, right. but we're never right. making any money, yeah. right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, was, that was around 98, 99 kind right. of time frame. We started, hey, but let's... We're going to be so OCD about everything we do. Let's try to do it in a, uh, a venue where we could uh, maybe make some progress for our families. Right. That's really what we were thinking. So called me up. I think it was. I said, I have this idea of golf, yeah. and I'm like, okay. well, it was pretty <laughs> ugly too. The first few prototypes were pretty. You know, they were pretty like you know, very engineer uh, oriented. Nobody would ever buy the first thing that we made. <laughs> but you know, we converged very quickly because we got into product testing with with customers really, really early in the whole scheme, and and quickly figured out the niche. Uh, in the marketplace and where the structural work could apply. Uh, and that was a, a real steep learning curve, very fast, and uh, didn't take long at all before we were out on tour uh, with a few breaks here and there. Yeah. We happened to have another friend who had a friend who was a golfer, went right. to his church, you right. know. Right. So right. that got us on. competitive on tour golfer. Yeah, a uh, PGA Tour guy. Which was actually no small thing, just to get <laughs> access to the putting green, you know, at a, at a PGA right. event. You don't just get that. 
like that. We did. We didn't know that. You know, we didn't. We weren't smart enough to know we couldn't do it. We converged onto a tournament at Torrey Pines um, in oh, I don't know two thousand, I think something it was. like that. Yeah, and picked up a few players right out of the gate: Grant Wade, Miguel Jimenez, and um, we were doing things you weren't supposed to do. And uh, we uh, picked up players and and. Uh, yeah, kind of got addicted to it at that point, helping the, the, the professional player at that level, because that was that was key to getting something going in the market. Wow. The whole yeah, time too, we're solving problems at NASA. I mean, we're doing things that you know on the on telescopes. We're doing things on flight hardware, you know, engine testing at Stennis um, for the space shuttle main engine. All these things that are that are going on in our daily lives. The same, and and that you know really made it difficult to decide what to do. When does hobby become work and work become hobby? And you know, we've been very fortunate to be able to meld both of those things and just about everything we do because we just are passionate about the, the type of work. But uh, we were able to pull together all that expertise from the, the aerospace world and bring it into this golf, this area. This, it, it's right here in your hands.